There are crappy moments in life, but there are never crappy days unless you create those crappy days. Today, we're going to be talking about how to turn around a crappy day. And so we're going to dive into what to do whenever you don't feel like you're at 100% each day, which is kind of interesting because a lot of people think that successful people or people who have it all together, people that are wealthy, wake up and it's just, you know, they're just crapping out rainbows and unicorns all day long. Like it's just amazing all of the time and nothing can be further from the truth. What happens is some people can wake up and I've been this way before. Something could happen to me and I could be pissed off about it for an entire week. Like one thing happens to me with somebody and my week is in completely off kilter. And that's happened to me many times in the past. But what happens is as you continue to work on yourself, you realize that it's, it's never about what happens to you. It's always about your perspective about what happens to you. And if you can look at it that way, realizing that no matter what happens, you're fully in control of how you feel and how you act, no matter what it is, you're always in control of whether that day stays crappy or not. So I remember I had this, and this was, uh, this was quite a long time ago. It's about six years ago now, five years ago now. And uh, I had a one-on-one -on -one coaching client and she asked me the question. She said, hey, Rob, what do you do when you have a, a, a crappy week? And I thought about it. I was like, man, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't know the last time I had a crappy week. And she's like, well, okay, what about when you have a crappy day? And I was thought about it. And I was like, I don't really remember the last time I had a crappy day. Like I have, I have crappy moments. I have moments that I'm not the most excited or I'm not the most driven or I'm not the most motivated to go and take action. I have those moments, but I don't remember the last time I had a day that was just a completely sh day. And she's like, how's that possible? I was like, I don't know. And, and when she asked me this, it was an interesting moment when she asked me this and maybe you've heard me tell this story before. She's like, well, well like tell me what's happened over the past couple weeks with you. Has anything big happened in your life? And I thought about it, I was like, actually, yes. And this was back in May of 2016, five years ago now. And I was like, yeah, actually a lot of stuff has happened. It was about, uh, about 25 days before this conversation, uh, my grandfather had passed away. And then 18 days after my grandfather passed away, my grandmother passed away. So within the month that she asked me this question, both of my grandparents that were married to each other for almost 71 years passed away, who I was close with both of them. And then in between, sandwiched in between both of their deaths, I got for the company that I owned at the time, uh, I got a cease and desist letter of a company saying that we had, we had uh, infringed upon their intellectual property. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea, we were selling foam rollers on Amazon and we we're selling a lot of them, a couple thousand a month, but we didn't infringe upon any patents. What happened was we had foam rollers and the company had patents pending. They ended up getting the patents and then they sent us a cease and assist letter. So within, you know, uh, I guess you would say a 18 day time span, my grandfather passed away. I got a cease and assist letter for cease and assist or go into a lawsuit and my grand grandmother passed away. And I thought about it and I was like, if, if, if I had not been doing so much work on myself and I wasn't even aware of this at all, I didn't think about it until she asked this question. If I hadn't been doing so much work on myself for 10 years before then, that could be something that would completely throw somebody off the rails. And it's not to be like, oh my God, I'm so awesome on personal growth and I'm freaking amazing with it. It wasn't like that at all. It was just like, oh my God, I, I finally see the importance of personal development because I wasn't obviously I was, I was hurt by, by all the things that happened and they, they affected me in some sort of way, but they didn't ruin my life. They didn't ruin my days. They didn't ruin my week. And so I say that just simply because it's not about what happens to you in your life. It's how you interact, how you think, and then how you act about those things. The reason why I say this is because you can have crappy days and you can have crappy moments, but if you want to really make an incredible life, how do you save a day that hasn't been going very good? that hasn't been going the way that you want it to. You know, first thing that I think about is like, if you wake up late and you don't get your morning routine in and you don't get time to meditate or to journal or to just drink your coffee outside in peace or to be able to do whatever it is, read while you're drinking your coffee, that can throw you off kilter. So it's like, can we identify what throws us off kilter? Did you take time for yourself? Uh, did you get your meditation in? First, th another thing I think about as well is, is how's my nutrition look for the day? There's a lot of times that, if I'm being honest with you, I forget to eat. I get so busy that I forget to eat. Yesterday was one of those days where I just was so busy, I forgot to eat, and then about four o'clock hits, and I'm like, I don't feel 100%. Like, well, I feel kind of like I'm dragging ass. I'm not kind of agitated. Why is that right now? And I thought about it, I was like, well, I haven't eaten all day, 
but I did a, a workout. The trainer came over and I had literally back to back to back to back calls for hours and hours and hours. I didn't even think about it. And I was like, oh, I bet my blood sugar is low because I haven't eaten anything today. Maybe I should think about what I've been eating. And if there's something I can do to make myself feel better to get my nutrition up. So therefore I can continue to have a, a productive day. And it was at that moment where it's like, I've, I've come to realize that, that my nutrition and how much water I have. And if I'm having too much sugar or grease, that those things can slow me down or they can make me get a crash. Or if I have too much coffee in the morning and then I crash. So it's like, you have to become very aware of how you're feeling based off of what it is that you've been consuming, whether that is something that you're actually eating or if it's something that you're watching. Like I've, I, I am proud to say, just so you know, that I have unfriended in the past three weeks over 3,000 people on Facebook. And the reason why is because I was like, I don't like how I feel when I hop on Facebook. There's just so many things that I see that I don't want to be a part of. I don't want you to be a part of people that are on the left or people that are on the right or people that are pro this or people that are anti this or people that are, I just don't want to be a part of it. And so I'm just going to remove it. So it's not just the food that I consume. It's also the information that I consume throughout the day. And so you start to think about, well, okay, if I'm having a day right now, did I wake up on time? Did I get time for myself? Did I get time to meditate? Or did I just feel like, holy crap, I'm, I, have to, I have to put out fires. I woke up late. I hit my snooze button five times and now I got to get out of the house and I get into traffic and traffic sucks and I forget to eat. And then as I was you know, driving to work, I was listening to one of the news stations and they were telling me about how the world is collapsing and that the supply chain is screwed and everyone's dying and things are happening and we're all going to go into Armageddon. And you start to think about it and self-assess and be like, okay, well, well, hold on. What have I been doing that's been sending me down the route of not feeling like I want to feel or not feeling empowered or not feeling motivated towards whatever it is that I want to do? And you start to self-assess and you can go, well, okay, I did do this and that didn't make me feel good. I'm not going to do that again. I did do this and that didn't make me feel good. I'm not going to do that again. And you can start moving things around based off of that. And part of moving is for you to actually get your body moving too. I don't know how many times I've said on the podcast, probably 3000 times. Inaction creates more inaction. Action creates more action. There is a, a power of getting momentum on your side. And if you feel like you've been having a crappy day, how much momentum towards your goals, how much progress do you feel like you've been making? As you've heard me say, Tony Robbins always says progress equals happiness. We are happy humans when we are progressing towards something that we want or something that's going to make us excited or some goal that we have. We feel better whenever we're doing that. So if you can ask yourself, I don't become very self-aware. I don't, I don't feel good right now. I don't feel good today. Why is that? Is how's my nutrition been? How's my, you know, the information I'm getting to my brain been? Did I meditate today? Did I take time to read? Did I take time for myself? Uh, have I been stagnant all day long? Cause if you're stagnant, then you're, you have the momentum of more stagnation and not actually go in the direction that you want. So maybe what I should do is just get my ass and get moving. I'll just get moving somewhere. And so one thing that I can do a, a lot of times is if I feel like I'm not, uh, I'm just dragging ass today. I'm dragging ass. I'm not really going the way that I want. It doesn't feel right. I'll literally chug a tea and then I'll just do a hundred pushups. I'll do a hundred jumping jacks. I'll do a hundred squats and I'll get my heart rate up. And that starts to feel that movement starts to feel like more movement towards the direction that I want to go. And I can save a crappy day by realizing that the actions that I've taken in the morning, maybe things happened that were out of my control. Maybe they were in my control, got me on the wrong path. Instead of going down that wrong path for the rest of the day, I'm going to become very aware. Maybe it's one o'clock and become aware okay, I need to fix my nutrition. Okay, I need to start getting movement in. Okay, I need to start doing this. And so what I'll do is I'll try to fix my movement. Next thing I try to do, I'm very big on this. If you ever come over to my house, there's almost always music playing whenever I'm in my house. The reason why is because I believe that music gives momentum. Music moves me. And so if I'm feeling like I've had not the best day, I literally have a playlist that is a happy playlist for me that makes me feel better. And what I will do is I'll force myself to then put that music on, sing it, dance along, move, get my body moving and force myself to feel better. Cause I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to have the rest of this day be because something happened earlier today. And so I'm trying to save the day. So this playlist, it's got stuff like the very first song is happy by Pharrell Williams, because I don't know how you can be a human and not love that song or not have that song make you feel better, right? So like that song is on, uh, don't worry, be happy. That song is on there. Um, 
Over the, uh, Over the Rainbow. I have that song on there. Uh, there's a song called Sunday Best by Surfaces. There's a song called One Day by Modest Yahoo. There's just a bunch of songs that as I, as I sing them, they make me feel good. They make me feel like I can start to move into a direction. Instead of feeling bad and having a crappy day and feeling and staying that way, I'm gonna move and shift myself into a new direction. So put on some music, make your body move. And then there's two things I wanna break down that you, I want you to start thinking about when you're trying to save a day. Two things, number one, is your internal environment, and number two is your external environment. And so when we talk about your internal environment, how have you been talking to yourself today? You know, did you mess something up and now you've, not only did you mess something up, but now you've just been beating yourself up the entire day because you sent out the wrong email to the wrong person and now your boss got on your ass about it? How's your internal environment? How are you talking to yourself? How are you talking to yourself, but then how are you also thinking about the things that happened. Maybe somebody said something to you and then if they said something to you and that was the one event, but then you continued to start thinking about it. How could they do that? And we've all done this before, right? Where something happens with another person and then we, we literally create a whole fabricated story around what happened. And oh, if I were to say this to her, then she would say this, and then I would say this back, and then she would say this. Oh my God, she sucks because I know this is exactly what she, and we make assumptions based off of what would happen. And we create this whole fake world that doesn't even exist in the first place. So how's your internal environment? How have you been thinking about your life circumstances? Are you mad because you're not where you wanna be in life? and you're working hard and you're not there yet, you feel like you're spinning your wheels? Are you mad because your mom called you and she's like, hey, are you getting married yet? Hey, are you having kids yet? Oh my God, you're still single. When are you gonna get it together? Your eggs are getting old. How are you thinking about your current life circumstances? And so you've gotta do a full self-assessment on what's going on in your internal environment. And then the next thing you gotta do is you gotta start thinking about your external environment, right? So first thing I think about is the people around you. Who have you been hanging out with today? You know, if you've been listening to my podcast long enough, your energy will shift depending on who you hang out with. If you're hanging out with people or you're around people that ruin your energy or make you feel worse or talk down to you or demotivate you, you're not going to feel 100%. You're just not. I'll just be honest with you. We are tribal beings. We like being around people. And sometimes that feeling of wanting to not be alone will drive us to be with people that we shouldn't be with and we should stop spending time with. So what's your external environment look like? Who are the people that you're hanging out with? If you feel like crap today, ask yourself about your external environment. Who are the people I've been around today? What are the conversations that I've had with them today? Are they positive people? Are they negative people? What can I do to shift this? Okay, what else can we talk about? Um, your room that you're currently in. Maybe you're in your office right now. Maybe you're in your car. What is the state of your external environment? Is your car just trashed? Do you have all of this fast food from yesterday and the day before sitting on the floorboard? I've done that before. I've been that person whose car is just destroyed. And it's interesting how your, your environment and where you spend your time will affect your internal energy. And so what does your room look like? What does your, your cubicle look like? What does your office space look like? Is it clean? Is it tidy? Is it the way that you want? Is it the color that you want? Do you have everything that you want around you? You know, does it, is it a environment that is conducive for your growth and to make you feel better? If not, what can you do to shift it? What would make you feel better? Do you need reminders around you of how amazing your life is? Do you need more pictures of your children instead of a whole bunch of files on top of your desk reminding you of all of the work that you have to do? What's your external environment look like? What about your house, the place that you live? Does your house inspire you? If it doesn't, can you move? And if you can't move, can you change it around so that it does inspire you in some sort of way? What about your body? You know, did you, did you wake up so late that you forgot to take a shower and now you're kind of smelly, you smell your own self and you don't feel as clean, you don't feel as good. There's all these things you could start to think about with your external environment. And then once again, the most important thing in my opinion is who is around you. And so what you start to do is you start to realize that a crappy day doesn't just happen. A crappy day, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a crappy moment you can have, but a crappy day, a crappy week, those don't just happen. Those are not natural things. What happens is an event will happen, whether it's an event we want or it's an event we don't want, but if it's an event we don't want, then we create the suffering after it. So the event will happen, but then we create suffering for the rest of the day. You know, let's say that you, you're driving to work and somebody rear ends you. That can ruin your day, right? But if somebody rear ends your car, what can you do about it after the car is 
has hit. You can literally do nothing. So why would you ruin your present moment and your future moments based off of something that you literally cannot change? And so some people would be like, I am justified to feel this way because somebody rear-ended me this morning. Cool, if that's what you wanna think, then you can think that the rest of your life. You can feel justified, but I'm gonna tell you, if you feel justified to feel that way, that's not gonna make you feel better. It's just going to keep you in the rut that you're currently in. And so things will happen to you and then things will happen inside of you. And that's the most important thing to think about is what is my current internal circumstance based off of the things that happen? Okay, you know, I did get rear-ended. Okay, I did wake up late. I didn't get my shower. I didn't get my meditation. I didn't get to read. I wanted to. I was so excited to have this morning routine and I completely screwed up my morning routine. Okay, are you gonna beat yourself up for the rest of the, the day? Because if you do that, that's how you have a crappy day. There are crappy moments in life, but there are never crappy days unless you create those crappy days. So you have to realize that you are in complete control of your feelings, of your circumstances throughout the entire day. If you want to go down the rabbit hole of crap and just throw more crap on yourself, you can do that if you want, but it's not exciting, it's not fun, and it's not something that you want to do. But if you if if you want to do it, go go for it, just do it. If that's if that's what floats your boat, if that's what tickles your tots, that you just want to throw more shit on top of yourself after you've already, you know, gotten into a car accident or you woke up too late, you can do that. Or you can go, you know what? I dig into a car accident, but thank God I'm alive. Thank God that other person is alive. It's a car, it'll be fixed, we'll figure it out. You know, hopefully the insurance doesn't drag me over the, the coals but at least I'm alive and that's something to be grateful for. I'm not going to let that ruin my day. I did wake up late. I did do this. I didn't have my morning routine. I don't feel as 100% as I want to, but I'm not going to let that moment ruin the rest of my day because I am in control of how I feel. I'm in control of how I act. It's never about what happens to us. It's about how we react to what happens to us. And if you can have that mindset, you will never have another crappy day. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. Every action is a vote for the person that you want to become. So, how are you voting?